What's up people welcome to your 31st XHTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be clearing up a lot of confusion that you probably have surrounding that div thing that I talked about a couple of tutorials ago so to a little refresher a couple of tutorials ago I told you guys that in order to position elements exactly where you want on your web page then you use something called div and they're pretty much like boxes that you can move around the screen and they let you make the layout a lot prettier than you could with just tables or just using plain XHTML but you guys are probably thinking this alright Bucky if I have a bunch of different boxes and they're all just called div then how does the browser know what div I want to go where well the answer is through the use of something called IDs now ID is a lot like um, a, well it's kind of a lot like a style but it's different as well you use IDs a lot with divs in order to position boxes at different locations for example if you had one div that you wanted to go in the top left and you had one div that you wanted to go in the bottom right you would give them different IDs and then you can tell your browser I want this one to go in the top left and I want this one to go in the bottom right so let's go ahead and uh, make two divs first of all so div and ending div and let's go ahead and make another one right under it and in the first div let's just go ahead and write Bobby is the best and under that one right Hobart is the coolest it doesn't matter what you write just go ahead and make them different separate but equal what's that from quote it and uh, you get a penny so anyways in order to change these divs and make sure that the browser knows that they're different we need to create something called an ID for each one so let's go ahead and create an ID and in order to create an ID instead of the period like we did before that we use with uh, styles or excuse me classes we need to write the pound sign so pound sign whenever you create an ID and now type the name of whatever ID you want whatever name pops in your head I'm gonna type mine Bobby because I'm gonna apply mine to this div that is called that has a sentence and it has Bobby in it so anyways name it anything you want except a cuss word because that's rude and now apply some styles to it like um let's make it easy to see so let's give it a border so border equals two picks solid red and now I'm gonna throw you guys for a loop and add that position thing that we don't know what it means yet but I'm gonna clear it up in a few tutorials absolute definitely spell that right absolute that's a little better and let's go ahead and take this div and move it down 15 pixels so top move it 15 pixels from the top and move it um let's say 25 pixels from the left so now what we have is an ID Bobby now any div that we give this ID to is going to be this position and have this border so let's go ahead and make another ID right now and we can do that by just copying this and pasting it and changing the ID name and change this ID to Hobart and change the border to green green sounds like a Hobart color and move it let's say 65 off the top and 5 from the left so check it out we have two divs right here and right here and we have two IDs that are different this one has a red border and it's in the top left and this one has a green border and it's kinda of below it shifted to the left so now we wanna say alright for this div right here we wanna give the ID Bobby so in order to do that go ahead and write ID equals Bobby make sure you don't include the pound sign whenever you're writing it oh, make sure I didn't write booby there make sure you don't write the pound sign whenever you're writing it is your XHTML attribute the only time that you use that pound sign is when you're making it a CSS so whenever you're using it in between the style tags include the pound sign this is just your way of telling CSS yes this is an ID so anyways we now applied this ID to this div right here so whenever we refresh it we get Bobby is the best right here and check it out 
it now has a border of two pixels solid red it's now moved down from the top 15 pixels and it's now moved to the right 25 pixels so that's what happens when we apply an ID to a div you pretty much allows you to position it anywhere you want on the screen so now if you go ahead and take this ID and apply it to this div what's gonna happen is it's gonna take this text Hobart is the coolest and it's gonna say alright I have the idea of Hobart so I'm gonna give it a green border move it down 65 and left 5 pixels so when we refresh it that's what we get so anyways that's what I'm basically telling you how to do you have two divs that are basically identical and your browser can't tell them apart well in order to give them identities you need to first of all write what you want your ID to equal pretty much give them a unique identity or a fingerprint and then you write what you want that identity to mean whenever something has the identity of Bobby I want to give it a red border and put it in this location whenever anything has the identity of Hobart I want to give it a green border and put it in this location so that way we can use divs to position different elements around the screen so before we had one div and we can only do one thing with it but now we can have a countless number of divs infinite divs and we can position them all around the screen however we'd like so now you can start to see how divs are so useful in making a custom layout so now what we can do is we can make one div for our banner in the top right and one div for our logo in the top left and one dig div for our navigation bar at the bottom or our left wherever we want it so that is how you use IDs to distinguish divs from one another. So if this tutorial was confusing, then just watch it again, and I promise you guys will get it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys later.